So around the holiday, like most people, I put on a few pounds, maybe, I don't know, 10, 12 pounds between October and December. So what had happened was a lot of dessert, a lot of dessert. I love sweets, but once January hits, I usually try to get back into a routine because I kind of get sick of feeling bloated and New Year's is a fresh start. So I get on my nutritional regimen. So the first thing that I start to work on to get myself back on track is to eliminate all types of processed carbohydrates, um, aka dessert. Pretty simple. So I do that for a full week. I do not worry about measuring out portions. Just cut out the pretty much sugars, you know, the processed carbs out of my diet. On week two, I start to focus more on the portions. So now I will take out a measuring cup. I will look at the nutritional labels and measure out each serving. And this kind of ties into week three. I will try to eat until I feel comfortable, but not overly stuffed. So that's kind of vague, but I think you all have an idea from the times where you have eaten a lot during a special occasion and you feel fairly uncomfortable versus when you eat and feel okay, I can probably walk away or I could stay here and have a second serving. So you wanna just eat until you feel good and not stuffed. Before, I focus on getting enough protein in my diet. Around the holidays, I tend to eat a lot of fats and carbs, which leaves a little room uh, for me to eat any kind of protein. You know, if you're eating pastries and cakes and desserts, you don't have much of an appetite for grilled chicken breast or any of that kind of stuff. So I try to get protein with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So once I have all those elements in place, it usually takes about a month to get it under control because you know each day is going to be slightly different. No one is perfect. So I will focus on tracking my calories on my fitness pal. And this is not for everyone. It's um, especially if you have an unhealthy relationship with food, I don't recommend it because it's going to make you overly obsessive with it. But if you have a good control, good relationship with food, you haven't had any eating disorders in your past, um, it's, it can be a good app to use to give you some awareness of your habits and it just gives you an idea of exactly how much and what are you eating. It also kind of holds you accountable a little bit. Um, those condiments and creams and sugars, things that you use in your coffee or cook with, add up pretty quickly with the calories. When you are not watching them, it's very easy to kind of just splatter it on your plate and consume a lot of calories in that way. So the final step is tracking your calories once you have all those other items in place. So those are my tips. Leave me a comment or shoot me a DM if you have any questions. See you later.